Welcome to my journey, Living with Cancer, Episode 8. What do we do? Well, here's a little glimpse. And as you can see, it's certainly not a day for going out. And in actual fact, I'm having to keep well back because rain is coming in. So I'm not going to stop out here for too long. Let's go back indoors and uh, into the warm because it's quite chilly out there and uh, I just thought I'd be sort of how do I cope with uh, lockdown and having to self-isolate due to cancer well as you can see I got some books on the table I'm a Baha'i and these are what we call Ruhi study books so I'm spending some time doing them. I've also moved a lot of furniture about. There you can see the floodlights that I use when I'm sitting down doing the, the V-blocks and the tripod that I use for the camera. And then the corner of my fish. I've only got a couple in there at the moment. I can't really restock them because well, I can't go out anywhere. So what else do I do? Well, I am fortunate enough to have some home gym equipment and uh, times like this when I bought it I thought to myself will I use it? well yes I do that's a static climber do a hundred steps on that at a time and you know you've done a lot of that and then we've got the cross trainer the cross trainer I have had for quite a few years and does get regular use but uh, earlier this year, well not this year, actually last year now, I bought a couple of other pieces of equipment, which are now, I'm very pleased I did. As we have here, the rowing machine, which is good to use in the morning, and the exercise bike. And while I'm using those two first thing in the morning, I have an ultraviolet light and an infrared light which help my back and well generally they are good for you particularly in the winter months when you're missing the sunshine and these do help to replace it. Don't think I can show you much more at the moment other than maybe a, a quick look out the back let's see what it's like out here pretty much the same as uh, out the front, quite wet, quite miserable and I'm fortunate that I've got a, a view looking out over rooftops and houses I can normally see the sea through there but it's just too grey today uh, I think I'll call it that for now add some more to it later this is the difference now. a day makes, we've now got a nice clear sky we can see the sea in the distance you might even be able to see the wind turbines out there going around quite a pleasant day today I'm not sure I'm going to get out today but we'll no doubt I'll get out for a walk tomorrow and we'll show a bit more of this uh, very nice Clacton on Sea with you tomorrow okay so this is how the day starts we have to start the day with a session of pills and I like to take them with a glass of orange, it helps them to, to go down. And there we have our glass of orange, and we've got the first pill coming up. Here it comes along in its packet, it's a capsule type. I have to take these every day, it says on the box, do not stop taking. So I don't know what's in it, but it's obviously important. Uh, that's the first one gone. Now we get the checklist out, because I have to keep track of what I'm taking. The white spaces are where I have to take pills. The pink spaces are ones which I'm not taking at the moment. Now, this is another one I have for breakfast. Again, I have to keep taking these. It's a must do every day. But this one with breakfast, the first one was 30 minutes before breakfast. That one's now in the pot, ready to go onto the breakfast tray. Next comes along, oh, this one is a little bit odd. I take this one just on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Two tablets in the morning with breakfast. 
Don't know why, that's what they tell you to do, that's what we do. Um, next comes along is four tablets. Now, apparently while I'm having the chemo treatment in hospital, they're pumping steroids into me as well. And these tablets apparently bring you down off of the steroid in a, a gentle way, because if you just crash off of it, apparently that's not good for you. So we have four of these for four days following the treatment. Today's the last day on these. And they're now in the pot, ready to go onto the breakfast tray. So now let's see if we can find out where the breakfast tray has gone to. It should be coming along any minute. Yep, there it is. There's the tray. Pop the pill pot on it so we make sure we have them with our breakfast. Most important to have these with food. And we now have another glass of orange because there's just too many to take with just a cup of tea that I have a breakfast. You know, I have a bowl of cereal this morning. I do believe in starting the day with a healthy breakfast. There's a cup ready for me cup of tea. You've got to have a nice cup of tea in the morning with half a spoon of demerara sugar. I like that because it's more tasty. Tea bag goes in, ready to make the brew. Got to have a cup of tea. There's me cornflakes in the bowl, ready to have some sultanas sprinkled on them. And the sultanas all help to add a nice little bit of flavour with it, actually adding sugar, and it's good for you. Now the tea has come along. In the brew, we've popped some milk in with the cornflakes, ready to make them, ready to digest. And now we've got some milk in the tea and breakfast is ready to be served. Now that's it, breakfast is served. And off we're going to go and digest it. Breakfast completed and finished. So now we have to complete the checklist. I must do this, otherwise it would be so easy with so many different pills and different days and different times. I've made this checklist so as I know where I am and make sure I'm taking the right pills each day on time as it happens. And that's the start of the day. See you later. I have to leave the walk for another week. I don't want to become too long and too boring, so I'm going to end this one now. That's all. See you soon. Bye for now.